everyone. This morning we're on the Dot Banks Nature Trail in Sandwich. This trail we put in last year. It was put in along with our conservation acquisition of this property we're on here. So this is currently the Tompkins Preserve and it's connected to two other quite large conservation areas called Coolidge Beatty and LNH Coolidge, which we hold easements on. It is a fabulous morning. I mean, just look at that blue sky. Nice, crisp, clear, fresh snowfall. So I'm out here hoping to find some good tracks. So, tag along with us today and let's see what we can find. Two sets of tracks. We have these here. Right, these look to be squirrel. And then on the other side, these smaller ones would be mouse. I can tell that because of the paired track placement with the line in between the tracks. And the line is its tail registering. So here it jumps up now and continues off down the trail. I found a pair of tracks that is giving me a little bit of pause. So let's get a look at them here. So we have these paired tracks that are spaced approximately a foot and a half from each other. So paired tracks like this, um, you're thinking small mammal, um, too, too big, way too large of a distance for a mouse or anything that small. Uh, could be the distance a, a, a squirrel w would jump per, per stride. However, for squirrels you tend to see the um, back paws and fore paws registering separately. So you will see the, the two forepaws registering actually behind the two hind paws, hind feet. And so actually those hind feet on squirrels, they have five toes, five digits, and the four feet, again, registering what looks like behind the larger back feet have four digits or four toes. These I can't quite tell how many digits there are, but based on the length of the stride and the fact that these tracks seem to be collected together, I would guess this to be a uh, mustelid, either a long or short-tailed weasel.
so we're looking at a porcupine den. I think it is inhabited, so I'm not going to stay long. I've actually seen this porcupine before. You can see these tracks going along the edge of the boulder and into the den. beside me here is our trail camera. We've picked up everything from bears with mother and, and cubs to otters to coyotes to a blue jay um, even a, a barred owl uh, sitting out, out here on the rock. We didn't see as much activity. I think we caught maybe a one, maybe two videos of, of a bear this year. Whereas last year we had a couple dozen. Um, so that, that was very interesting to, to observe. Also, we are close to the trail. The trail is only 70 feet, 60 feet that way behind me. And so I also, I'm also wondering whether or not the proximity to the trail and the trail existing this year rather than us putting it in last year that the presence of people walking even it's like one person a day is possibly deterring wildlife from, from this spot at least during the day. tracks down here on the water. Let's go check them out. We've made it down to the shore here and look at these tracks. Just awesome. Oh, the sun's coming out. It's really putting a lot of glare on this snow. We'll try to go in the shade here. So, any guesses as to what these big swash marks are? I'll give you a hint. It has to do with that guy over there. Also, cool dust devil, or well, I guess snow devil. <laughs> yeah, you guessed it, otter.
where it's just below the pond. And you can see the dam in front of me here. The dam is quite substantial. It's about three and a half to four feet high, um, more like four feet high. And what is coming off the dam are two streams, two channels of water that kind of wind their way through this wetland system. And it creates this really great habitat where I have actually, at, at this very spot, filmed bobcats, coyotes, mink, wood ducks, beavers, um, all using this wetland. And there are countless other species. For example, just in front of me is an, a nest from this past year. Right, and so this is gonna be made by some migratory songbirds. And then it's actually made in, you can see the red berries there, a winterberry holly bush. So winterberry holly is a really good um, late winter fruit for many birds like robins or, or waxwings which are really relying on these uh, fruits to see them through the winter. We are in the thick of this beaver wetland now. I've been slowly navigating my way across the numerous channels. And I found another, looks like somewhat recently made offshoot that the beavers have made, which you can see here. what the beavers are doing is they're matting down and excavating out these channels through the wetland in order to get to more of the shrubs such as these which are speckled alder also to um, the winterberry holly, and so there's some dogwood in here, and so there's a lot of evidence of them chowing down and on on these shrubs. So the answer I'm sure you all have been just waiting for: Did I make it across the wetland? Yes. Did I make it across with dry feet? No. <laughs> So, as I was walking through this hemlock grove, I heard this pounding noise. And I think it was a few deer that then took off in that direction. I saw one shadow. So I'm gonna go try to follow them. Sure enough, sure enough. So this is where the deer are bedding down. And this is incredible. Look at this here. These guys are deer beds. So I mean, you, you can just imagine them just lying down here. And so uh, I, I definitely disturbed them and then they took off. So there were at least two to each other here. So this, this is what's called a, a deer yard. So when you have a, a grove of hemlocks, of dense, dense hemlocks, 
it prevents as much snow from getting down to the ground as the adjacent woods. So that means that it's easier to travel in, in deep snow as well as actually provides insulation during cold weather, right? Because the, the, the dense canopy of branches is going to trap at least some more heat than it would in, say, a deciduous forest, which right now is completely bare. You can see here, way off in the distance, the deer is feeding. She has no idea I'm here. She's a good ways out. Probably about 150 yards or more. So you can see, oh, 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 it's lying down, it's lying down. Wow. Wow, hello. No idea I'm here. This is amazing. I really do have to head out. But she's right in my way. You can see that she's fixated on me now. Even just a little bit of talking. And a couple steps I took alerted her to my presence. She doesn't really know what I am. And she can't smell me. But I do need to walk her right by her. I feel like any movement at all is going to disturb her. But here it goes. It's pretty amazing. So I'm exactly where she is, where she was, only two minutes before now. There you go. There's. That's where she laid. Right there. Just incredible. Just incredible. Alright, we're going to sign off for tonight. Uh, thanks for coming out today. Um, lots of tracks. Porcupine Den. Um, the whole shebang. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you next time.